What is up, YouTube? It's the Tattoo Tech coming at you again. Uh, if you're like me, you work on computers quite a bit. You probably got about six, seven, eight of these flash drives just laying around. Different operating systems. This is my Proxmox installation. Uh, that's all well and good, the label. That's Windows 10. Every time a new version comes out, I've got to completely rebuild that flash drive. Um, the reason I'm making this video is we're going to be talking about this tool that I've come across. And it will allow you to create a multiple bootable drive. Right now I'm running off an external hard drive. Um, but you can, uh, I've got a 128 gigabyte flash drive on the way. That will become my new multi-boot uh, flash drive once it gets here. Uh, so let's jump over to the PC and I'll show you where to get this tool, how easy it is to use, and copy uh, ISO images to your drive. Then we'll jump back and we'll show you how you can actually install an image to a PC from this drive. So let's head over to the PC. All right, so we're over here uh, and we have went to this website, ventoy.net. I will leave that link down below uh, so you guys can easily get to that. Um, once you're here, you're going to go to downloads and you're going to download Ventoy, uh, the Windows Zip. Um, I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to go through that. It's a real quick download. Shouldn't take you very long to get it. And then once you've got it, you'll unzip it like any normal uh, zip file. I've already got mine right here over on my desktop. So <clears throat> my flash drive is already plugged into my PC as well. So we're going to open up this folder. And we're going to find the part that says ventoy to disk.exe. And we're going to double click that to launch it. And it is not picking up that flash drive, so I'll have to use a different one, which is fine because I've got a few of them. So there you can see it's pulling in that flash drive now. And once you're ready, make sure you pick the correct one. You do not want to overwrite something important. All you do is click install. It'll ask you to confirm it twice. Once you click the second time, it goes through real fast process again. It's a, a nice little program. Now that it's done, you've got this nice little uh, Ventoy name disk, and you literally just drag and drop, copy and paste um, ISO files onto it. I'm going to open this in a new window. There's my ISO files, and we'll just copy one over. Now I've already got these ISO files on my external hard drive, so that's the ones I'm, that's the drive I'm going to use. But literally, you just copy and paste onto this drive into the root of the drive, and these images are now ready to use. All right, so we're back over here with the uh, laptop we're going to be installing on today. This is an old HP laptop, so I will be installing a version of Linux on it instead of Windows. Um, again, you need to get your drive plugged in and you need to boot from that drive. Each computer is going to be different. You will just have to consult with your PC manufacturer to know which one, which button is going to boot, uh, enable you to boot from the USB drive. This particular laptop is going to be F9 at boot, so you power it on and then F9 now we're changing our uh, boot order once this pops up now there's my Toshiba external hard drive I just hit enter to boot from that Ventoy is loading and then there's all the ISO files I have on this drive right now I can install Linux Mint which is a pretty good one Ubuntu uh, this one won't run Windows 11 it will run 10 but that is not what we're doing we're doing Zorin OS this is a pretty nice uh, little operating system I may do a, a review of it sometime in the future but for right now it's we're just going to go through and show that it does boot up into the setup file of this drive 
I can install multiple operating systems from one drive without having to carry four, five, six flash drives around with me everywhere that I go. And we're just waiting for it to take our input. There we go. Setup is booting. I so said this is a pretty clean uh, looking little operating system. It's a uh, I'm not sure, I think it's built off Debian. Uh, not 100% sure, I may need to look into that. But this for sure right here should run on pretty much any computer. Uh, 10, 15 year old computers it should run on. And it's a nice, safe alternative to Windows. Right now we're just gonna try it before we install it. That way you guys can kind of see what this operating system looks like. I'm booting it clean off that USB hard drive though. So, I mean, it's got your little start menu down here. It's already got Office products installed on it. Once you install it, it'll have all these installed, which is basically the open source free versions of all of your Microsoft Office um, apps as far as like your word processor, your um, Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint, it's got audio programs for, you know, playing music, playing back videos, things like that. And the fun part is you've got your own little software. Uh, it's basically like an app store for, uh, for your operating system, which is not going to, uh, Once I actually install this whole operating system, we'll come back, we'll check out the software repository. I do have this, I think, loaded up in a VM, so I may be able to do the video a lot quicker than running it off this laptop. But in order to install this, you just click on install and everything's gonna pop up. It'll go through the installation process and then you will be set up and good to go. Also, like there's the setup for that. We're gonna shut this thing down, show you that it does boot multiple images off this. So I'm gonna shut you back down and restart this lovely computer and boot back off of that USB drive. And it's still booted up into Ventoy. Shut it completely down. Now let's start it back up. We'll boot back to the USB drive and we'll start the Windows, uh, Windows 10 setup. We will do the 64 bit because I believe this is, yeah, this is 64 bit. Let it load files. So as you can see, you can run multiple installation ISOs off this one drive, which eliminates the need to carry four, five, six, seven drives around with you wherever you go to work on a computer. It just eliminates a lot of that clutter. Now also, as some of you know, I have my own Windows deployment uh, server set up on my network to install Windows. So I actually don't even need this to install Windows at my house. I can just boot up to my network and install Windows on multiple computers simultaneously over my network connection, which is pretty awesome as well, especially when you work on computers or you build computers it's a nice feature to have. So we're going to end this video here though. If you like it, so hit the like button, subscribe. If there's anything you want to see me do a video, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Until next time guys, peace.